Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jenny. Um, I am a process painter uh, from the Midwest in the United States. Um, and I just wanted to come on here and kind of, I, I really need some accountability as to paint more often. And I thought maybe the best way to do that is to start recording myself doing, doing it. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. We'll figure that out. Maybe, maybe this will work, maybe this won't. I'm going to give it a shot. Anyways, uh, I do um, process paintings. Um, all of them, uh, well, this particular project that I've been working on, I've been working on since um, I was in college. This was part of my senior project. Um, and I was taking apart a book, which I think you'll see a little bit later. Um, it is a, a, a calculus and analytic geometry textbook, I believe, from the 70s. Um, and so I've been slowly taking it apart. Um, it's a, like a thousand page book, so 500 like physical pages, um, and painting them. Um, and I'm painting them. These are, uh, as you can tell, I trace them on. Um, and the background um, sketches that I'm tracing on are um, algorithmic based sketches that I did longer ago than I would like to admit, maybe 12 years ago. It was a long time. I did these like a long time ago, but um, I algorithmically, I would make a kind of a math equation as to how to fill out a piece of graph paper visually. Um, so I'd create a set of circumstances and then follow it through. Um, oh God, I say I'm a lot, I'm so sorry. Uh, one day, it's a nervous tick. One day I'll be able to beat that. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, I was like, I make this uh, kind of equation and visually kind of fill it in based on, yeah. And I was like, and so I've been doing it for a long time. Here's just a big pile of ones that I've done. This is my office. I have a bunch of them hanging up and my living room. <laughs> uh, yeah, people keep giving me out. I don't know why. Anyways, this is the book. It's gorgeous. I actually found it dumpster diving uh, in college, and I was like, I still have quite a bit of pages to, to, uh, and these are the sketches. As you can see, they're a little water damage, but they're all these are they're really beautiful like sketches. And then I just take, um, see, this one is with espresso, but coffee, tea, espresso um, to get these beautiful. As you can see, the pages are yellowed. Um, that's from the acid that used to be in like uh, paper and so they slowly yellow and so I really liked the look of the dark browns. Browns and blacks are like my favorite color. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so I really liked the look of painting them with these and for one also acids. So it's like they're, the paper is acidic, what I'm painting with is also acidic. Um, and so like these will slowly break down over time. I'm okay with that. I actually kind of want that to happen. Um, sometimes I was like, I don't know if it's in, if I did a clip of it, but they have some of the ones that I've done uh, back in college, which was <laughs> longer ago than I would like to admit. I put this project down for maybe seven years and haven't touched it. And again, I was also like a non-traditional student in college. I graduated at 20 six, seven, six, I think. I have no idea. Um, yeah, and I was like, I was an art student. And yeah, I was a non-traditional as I kind of left school for a while to take care of my mom who had uh, terminal ovarian cancer. So <laughs> eventually I got back to school. That's, that's all that counts, right? <laughs> um, and I, I found doing this, these kind of paintings to be very relaxing. I was like, mostly because I don't make a lot of choices in them. Um, I've never been the type of creator that wants to, uh, what's the right wording? That feels like they have the, <laughs> is hubris the right word? It feels like I have anything I like to be a vessel. <laughs> I was like, so it was like the algorithms and, and the kind of math and the kind of 
curating, putting together work that I didn't actually make on my own. Like I didn't make, I made choices on this, but I didn't make all the choices. Um, so I'm just finding beauty in like, I don't know. I, I, I one time I explained it to a professor, it felt a lot like, um, like a visual language that I was trying to figure out the answer to. <laughs> it was something I couldn't quite explain, but um, I love doing it. It's very relaxing. It's I need to do it more often, which is why I'm here and recording right now. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this again. Uh, maybe I'll live stream. At some point, maybe I'll just throw some music on. Maybe I'll leave these without any sound. You can just watch me paint. I was like, I watch a lot of YouTube videos without any sound, just mostly because I love watching two videos at once, and so one will have sound, and I won't be watching it, and one will have sound, and <laughs> no sound, and I will be watching it because I don't know, for some reason that satisfies my brain, my little ADHD brain. Um, is to do like some <laughs> multiple things at once um anyways i was like i have an instagram if you want to follow it uh it's anonymity art on instagram um <laughs> look for the paintings that look exactly like these um and the, at the end of this video i have put a bunch of pictures of my cats because i love my cats which you can also follow on instagram <laughs> it's earl and Seamus and they're my beautiful boys. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'm not sure if anyone will actually watch this. Uh, I mentioned this to my best friend, and she's like, I would watch it. And I was, so, hi, boo. <laughs> you might be the only one watching this. I think I'm okay with that, but at some point I'll find my people. <laughs> I'll find my people, and ones that will help me stay accountable and want to see this kind of work that I do. Um, if you have questions, please. It's like, I would love to ramble on about <laughs> uh, my work, my life. Uh, <laughs> going to college as a non-traditional student. Uh, going to college debt-free. I did that. It was really hard. I have a really weird story as to how that happened, and a lot of it had to do with my mother passing away. So, um, yeah. By the way, fuck cancer. <laughs> sorry, I have to say that. And I'm so sorry if you lost anyone, especially someone who was really close to you. So, hmm. Yeah. Oh, anyways, here comes pictures of my cats. I'm so excited for it. This is me painting. And this is my cat, Seamus. He's a cutie pie. He's my big boy. He's very, very, he's a big, big kitty, and he's a little brown tabby. And he liked the fact I had wine that day. <laughs> oh. What a cutie. Anyways, uh, I think the next clip is just me showing a bunch of these different paintings completed, and so a lot of what I do is just layer my drawings over top of each other until... I think they're done. Oh, that one has Seamus too. Oh, what a cutie pie. And so I was like, I just, I really liked that one. Sometimes they turn out really well and sometimes they turn out okay and you have to figure out how to fix them or finish them. Like I didn't love that one. Um, and sometimes you get to a point where you just have to stop. Um, anyways, they're really fun to do. I liked that one too. Uh, yeah. So some of these are really cool. So anyways, I have, uh, let's see, that book is about 500 physical pages. I may be halfway done, maybe. Um, every time I do a session, I paint like maybe 10 or 20 of them and maybe half of them. I have I do more layers on again. Oh, that one was pretty too. I feel like I can say this about my artwork because I, I only kind of facilitated making it. I didn't actually make it for I did, but I, I don't know. I feel I feel a little withdrawn from them. And I, but, yeah. Anyways, at some point, as you can see in this one, you can see new espresso and then, like, aged espresso. They look very different, and they kind of change over time. Anyways, oh, they're so pretty. God, I love what I do. 
anyways, at some point I might sell them. I really want to finish the book before I sell them, so, um, because I have too many of them, and I can only, you know, put so many in my house. Oh, that's a good one, too. A lot of these are really good. I, I picked from the good pile. There's a bad pile somewhere in there. Oh, that one's a good one, too. Okay, anyways. Here's a bunch of pictures of my cats. That's genius. He's my big boy, and he's a cuddle bug. What a cutie pie. And there's Seamus and Earl. Earl's little gray one. Seamus is my big boy. Yeah, oh, look at that face. Okay, I'm just bringing Proud Mom, that's Earl. Oh. oh. Look at those adopted brothers. And Earl's like a friggin' model. Well, they're both like. They're both extra adorable. But anyways, thank you for watching if anyone's watching.